Hey guys, it's Zion from Get Known. I want to talk to you about how I solved an issue with creating. I wanted to create a moving graphic on my website. So for the getknownstrategy.com, I wanted to have graphics that are moving, illustrating the points I was making in text. And I thought at first that I could do that with video, and I ended up using GIFs to do this. And uh, after a lot of trial and error, I figured out how to do this in a really quality, high quality, good looking way. And I'm excited to share it with you. So if this could help you, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We're always sharing things about Kajabi and building pages and online courses and getting known. All right, let's check it out. So this all started when I wanted to create a, uh, a way in which I can show our customers how our system works on the Get Known Strategy website. So I created another page and I created a page in which there are graphics that just pop up and start playing. Now, when I first got into this, I kept thinking, I based this on the Kajabi help site. Every time you go into Kajabi and you go to their help site, I kept finding that uh, they have these cool tutorials and then they'll have an image that just plays. And I asked the, the help people and they said, oh, that's actually a video that's playing. Well, it turns out it's a GIF, it's not a video, but I started by looking at video first. I thought maybe if I created a video that was on a loop, because my experience is that most GIFs are really poor quality. And I wanted this to be um, have a white background, so it looks like it's just floating on the page. I didn't want this like ugly, you know, hazy area right here to be showing. So I started exploring video first and I discovered very quickly that the problem with video is that if you have a video on loop, first of all, you have to embed it and you can do it from YouTube or from and do it in an iframe and it, it just sucks. It just really sucks. It's not a good way to do it because it ends up showing you when the video is finished and then it'll show you kind of like re uh, refreshing the screen and going through it. And it's just a, it just ends up being kind of ugly. And I could not figure out how to get the, the, the logos and things like that off of the screen. So anyway, what I ended up doing is doing gifts and I had to explore for a while to get quality gifts. If you look at the Kajabi help section and, uh, type in Kajabi gif, uh, you're going to find some some stuff about how to ins how to embed a GIF into a uh, post, like a blog post or an email. They have information like that. But this is how usually GIFs look. They look kind of crappy. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Like that. The, like the quality just doesn't not. It looks really like 1981, <laughs> like MySpace kind of thing. And I didn't want that at all. I wanted it to look really clean. So in their guide, they suggest going to Giphy. So if you go to Giphy.com and um, Giphy.com and you create a GIF, you can, you, you can upload a video basically and you can create a GIF. But again, the quality is crappy and there's no way to make it really high quality. There's some options you can use, but at the end of the day, I could not make that work. So then I tried Easy GIF easygif.com and this is actually a lot better you can upload a video you convert it to a gif and then it'll pop up right here and again i just wasn't happy with the with the quality do you see how in the background this is supposed to be white and it has these like little lines in it that is a function of compression that happens and the frame rate is reduced from the video because the video is probably 60 frames a second and GIFs are usually like 20 frames a second or less. I think I told it to be, uh, yeah, 20. And it just has this compression look to it. And I tried this at first. You can do it this way. If you don't care too much about the, the quality, you can do it this way and that would be sufficient for your website. However, if you're like me, you want it to be clean. You want things to look good, right? All right, so how did I do it? Well, I'll tell you. I use a program called ScreenFlow. Now, this is one of the cheaper 
video type programs. I mean, I think it was a hundred bucks or 150, something like that. But I use it for all my videos. In fact, the video I'm making right now, I'm using ScreenFlow. Um, but this is what it looks like. I don't know if I can get this all in the screen. Um, but let's see here. So this is where I made this video. And it took me a while. I used icons and, and edited them in my Photoshop program, which I, I use Pixelmator. And I just created this little video that I intend to have on loop. And it has a really pure white background. It's in 1080p. And you can see some of the elements down here. I'll play it again. There's the characters coming in and all the images and things like that coming in. Um, it, this is sort of like creating an audio track. You just have sort of multiple tracks. It's like a multi-track recorder and it works really, really well. Anyway, I've made videos with this many, many times and I did not know that there's an export feature in this. So if you go to export, uh, file export, you can create instead of, um, instead of just video like you can choose your video resolution and stuff if you go to manual you can choose animated gif and then i chose 720 because i knew i didn't want it really large on the page i want it to load quickly so when a person comes to the page i want it to load super fast and then i just exported it and uh it only just takes half a second to do and then let me show you how i upload it into kajabi so the way this works is when you're in Kajabi to upload a GIF, you're not going to, to uh, embed it like you would like a URL. I thought that's how you did it. You do not. You actually do it the same way you would upload a photo, which seems a little odd, but it actually works really, really well. Uh, if you've never done it, I strongly suggest doing it. So I'm just going to add a section and we're going to add a photo, an image. And let's put it down here at the bottom like that. And uh, we could add a title or whatever we want. The way I did these is I did, um, I think it's custom content it, where I have a, or no, it was, uh, it's the image in text button. I think it's this one here. Yeah, the image in text. And then I took out the call to action. So you basically, you're gonna click the photo and instead of uploading just a still image, you're gonna upload a GIF. So let me just show you how to do that. And it seems like that would not work because a GIF is different from a PNG or a JPEG. But Kajabi is smart enough to know that this is a GIF and it's gonna immediately go into a loop mode and it just works. It's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. There it goes, just like that. Then you can click save. Now here's the brilliant thing about doing GIFs instead of video. If your website is in the mobile area, I mean, if, if people view your site or your page in a mobile layout on your their mobile phone or, your, or their um, iPad or whatever, it looks great. So this is just a little preview, but you can see that the GIF works just fine. If you had a video there that you were trying to have on loop, it would require the user to actually hit play and then it would go into a full screen just to see that little graphic. So I kept my graphics all under, I think they're under like 12 seconds each and they just go in a loop and it gives a lot of instruction to the person that is looking, that's reading the text. It gives a visual illustration of what I'm trying to say. So I'm loving this. I think it's really, really cool. Again, here's how it ends up looking on the website. And I've got text and then I've got um, the GIF. And of course, when you put it in a mobile layout, it has a different layout. Of course, it puts the text above the GIF, but at least it shows it in the right order. And I think it looks amazingly sharp. So that's how I do it. You just use the image. Uh, you just import an image, but you do it as a GIF and you I export my GIFs from ScreenFlow. I'll put a link below if you want to check out ScreenFlow. I love that um, software. It's amazing, and it saved my bacon too many times. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Follow us. Follow us on YouTube. All right, guys, that's it for this week. We will see you on the next video.